On January 14, 2012, a sport held close by many of a premier high school hockey program returned outdoors. A contest between the Catholic Memorial Knights and the Boston College High School Eagles took place at historic Fenway Park. For just about all of Catholic Memorial's existence, its featured sport has been hockey. And now, for the first time, the Knights took their signature game outdoors. This is the road to frozen Fenway. The success of a high school hockey season is defined by one goal, a state championship. And for those who play under the red and silver colors of Catholic Memorial, anything less than that is a disappointment. Coming from a school with 17 state titles, the pressure is justified. High expectations are not only displayed in the halls of CM, but also in the mentality of the players and coaches. I always got to set the expectations high. Definitely a little bit, I mean, with the history of winning, and uh, it definitely makes you want to win, just to live up to what others have done. There's definitely some pressure. Everyone knows CM's winning tradition when it comes to hockey, but myself, I just try not to focus on that, and I just try to go out and play as hard as I can. And... The Knights' opponents in the contest at Fenway are no strangers. The BC High Eagles have been facing off with CM ever since their rivalry started shortly after Catholic Memorial opened its doors in 1957. Although a strong rivalry has been forged on the ice, the Knights and Eagles compete in all the other major sports, including an annual Thanksgiving Day football game. And as customary in a rivalry, the more times you face an opponent, the more you come to dislike him. Uh, when I first found out we were playing against BC High, I was actually at the link with a bunch of BC High kids and a few OCM kids, so since I heard about it, I just started chirping BC High kids right away, and uh, yeah. I found out about Fenway, it was like late August, and I originally found out that we'd be playing Mount St. Charles, but then I found out that we were playing BC High, and uh, I was actually at the hockey rink with a couple of the teammates, Jack O'Hare, Sean Hill, and John O'Hare. And uh, the BC High goalie was with us, so as soon as we found out we were playing them, he uh, started trash talking, so got interesting real fast. The week starts with practice at Boston University's Walter Brown Arena. Although BU's men's ice hockey team has since moved across Boston to the Aganis Arena, the college's women's varsity hockey team still holds their home games at Walter Brown and many of CM's practices are held. Yeah, 
guys, let's get some shots on the goalies here. And then to jump, take three, three, four quick steps, follow from the outside, just change lines, and uh, let the goaltenders throw the pucks. A big part of every practice is situational drills that teach skills needed in games. Behind these drills is coach Bill Hansen. Serving as coach for some 30 plus years, he has built CM into one of the premier high school hockey programs. Uh, his coaching record pretty much says it all, you know. Well, I say championships, uh, he's a great coach, and I love playing for him. He's a great coach, you know. I've been around for him for this my fourth season on the team. I've been with him through middle school, and he's a really great coach, and I just love playing for him. Uh, coach Hanson, I mean, obviously, is one of the best coaches in high school hockey history. Um, it's really, it's just an honor to be playing under him. Great guy, great coach. I've learned a lot in the past weeks being on the team. It's a great time. Um, coach Hanson's awesome, obviously. One of the best high school hockey coaches in Massachusetts, if not the country. Uh, obviously, I've won an SB, Sports Illustrated, written articles about him. I've known Hanson since I was really young. My dad used to coach for CM, so I've kind of experienced everything with him. And uh, it's great finally being able to play with him, and it's really an honor. Uh, the season, I'm having as much fun coaching this team as I've ever had before, if not more. Uh, great group of kids. When you're dealing with kids with teams, a cumulative GPA is 89.76. Uh, it, it, it's pretty easy to communicate with them. 